When a stranger approaches you on the street, what is the first thing you ask? Claire met some teenagers who are, well, they're kind of on a unique school excursion which involves approaching random strangers in the city with one specific mission. Welcome, Claire. Hi, Claire. It's so funny that you have that other segment on because I was thinking, you know, talking to these kids who are on such a virtuous mission that I'll explain in a moment, but it's so rare, isn't it, that there's something that's as virtuous as just delivering a random act of kindness that isn't kind of done either, I don't know, isn't received with a little bit of scorn or mm. cynicism. Like we're kind of in a way too cool for a lot of this stuff much of the time, I think. And the um, book, you know, as much as we love to laugh about it, it's rare that you find especially teenagers who are willing to buck the trend and rather than caring about just being cynical, cool teenagers, go out on a mission to deliver random acts of kindness. So this is their school excursion. It's a group of year nine students from Beacon Hills College in awesome. Pakenham. And they have this mission. They, they have to deliver random acts of kindness. They can design them. They can choose their target. And then they travel around the city and they see if they can brighten up someone else's day. So I caught up with the students as they were preparing to go out on this excursion. And here's what some of the students had to say. Some people obviously with a group of teenagers approaching them, they get a bit like nervous and like kind of will just say no straight away. But the people that actually are interested, you just see such a genuine like reaction, which is really nice. It's a little nerve wracking at the start. I remember the very first time we did it, it was kind yeah. of nervous to approach people and be like, you know, we want to give you this. It's a bit weird walking up to someone with a gift of a chocolate or something, saying here you go, it's like, you, this is a random act of kindness. You can have this from me to you. When we did it the first time, a lot of people thought we were like trying to collect money for something, yeah. like do a fundraiser. So you had to be like, no, this is just something we generally want, generally, genuinely want to give you to brighten up your day. So, yeah, because yeah. it's we, really hard for people to accept that idea, isn't it? Yeah. That you don't want something from them. Yeah. You just want to give them something. Yeah, because we had like our first group, we gave balloons and notes. So a lot of people would come up and be like, oh, how much for a balloon? Which was kind of sad to hear because like it was kind of so surprising for people to realise, oh, this is actually free yeah. and some kids just want that to give it. That it wasn't a two-way thing, it was yeah. just us giving to them and they didn't have to give to us. So. Yeah, so it was really cool. So what have you got prepared for today? Um, so I've got two boxes of chocolates um, and they have a little note on each of them. Do you want to read it? Okay. Um, Hi, this is a random act of kindness to help you have a great day. Remember to keep smiling and stay positive because the world needs you. Enjoy. Hey guys. Okay, so you know the drill for today. We're going to yeah. go out and complete our random act of kindness. Um, you've done this before. Are we all excited? Yeah. 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 I hope that, you know, just your small act of kindness actually makes a difference in someone's world. Without further ado, let's go. Ready to go? Yeah. All right. For the students, obviously, we want them to be good humans, basically, and, and, and really think about others in society and what... Um, they could do to make a positive impact in this world and we thought this would just be a really small thing that they could do while they were in the city um, that you know could just be for anyone whether it's someone who's homeless someone who's coming from work or uh, it's being a good human that's not something that falls very clearly in any particular subject at school does it no it doesn't and uh, it re well, it's something that it's it's hard to know where students get their influences from, whether it's parents or teachers or their peers, and we just want to make, uh, we just want all these beautiful young adults into into good people, and whatever we can do to help help that development, um, you know, we, we try our best. How beautiful, Claire. I mean, isn't that the point of education, though? If we were really going to look at education, surely the point is to help. Ultimately, uh, become a good human. Yep. But it's not a subject at school. I mean, maybe we should have a subject, how to be a good human, or something like, I remember my mum always suggested we should teach human relationships in school, or some, some kind of opportunity to explore the things that fall outside of those traditional subjects. So I guess in a way this is what the school is trying to do, like the teacher there, Kelly Kakouris, was saying. It's, it's philosophy in a way, isn't it? It's yeah. sort of asking these platonic or platoistic uh, questions, mm. you know, these questions that humans have asked forever. Yeah, more. absolutely. How can we use this one precious life to do something positive with? Yeah, and people are, um, you know, kind of the, the subjects are becoming more and more nuanced and complex than they were, I guess, when you and I went to school.
Of so course, later in the hour, we'll be asking Sonny Lunig um, this same question, and he might tell us that that is not, in fact, the purpose of life. His book, The Book of Uninspiring Quotes, to complement your empty shell of an existence, is hilarious. So there is a lot of fun to play with in this in this funky middle ground. I wonder what he would think if a teenager approached him to give him a random act of kindness. <laughs> Do you know, I think he'd probably be very kind. Anyway. Um, <laughs> well, it doesn't always go down that well, though. I mean, not, not everyone is receptive to the idea. Mm. So I followed the kids as they went out on their mission and here's how some of their attempts went. Oh, and they're coming back. It's rejection. Oh. Well, this does happen. What happened there, guys? He doesn't eat chocolate. He doesn't eat chocolate. Oh, and he what didn't are the want chances? So he couldn't... And he can't read the poem. Yeah. What do you mean he can't read the poem? He didn't, he didn't finish, finish school. school. Yeah. So... Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. But then he asked to give it to someone who needed it. Yeah. <laughs> So they've identified someone and yeah, oh, he's happy. Thank Look you. at that. My name's Joseph, yeah. And you've just received what is it, a box of chocolates? Uh, yeah, and... chocolates. I hope that it's brightened up your day from these Absolutely. kids. Absolutely, thanks guys. It's Thank amazing. You. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. What's your name? Emma. So can you tell me what, what you thought and what happened when these kids approached you? Um I actually put a smile on my face. <laughs> it must be hard to have a smile on your face when you're sleeping on Burke Street Mall. Yeah, well, my application for housing has been approved. I've just got to wait for the next available house. I'm not sure when that's going to be. How often is it that people would do something like this, like come up and just give you a, a bunch of flowers and I some get, chocolate? I get people buy me food all the time and stuff, but not, never a bunch of flowers. <laughs> it actually put a smile on my face and I was a bit depressed earlier and it actually makes me think that people do actually, you know, notice and you know, care and stuff. Have a great day. Have a great day. She looked like she was a, un, less fortunate, so... Yeah, I think if you're sleeping on the streets, you're pretty yeah. unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was kind of looking at me a little bit strange at the start. And then when I started speaking to her, she started to smile. That made me feel good inside. And yeah, I put a smile on her face. Beautiful. Look, Claire and I, um, I'm Claire Bowditch and Claire Rawlinson joining us, 774 station reporter there, bringing us a glorious story of acts of kindness.